Yes, ma'am. You can. Um, how Actually, you already did. So a lot of people still ask me, especially if I travel someplace, first question they say is, oh, did you go to bring animals back? Um, you know, that's a real misconception. Most of these. Morning, guys. Morning. Most of the animals that you see in the zoos are born in zoos. In our World of Birds exhibit, we have 94 different species. And behind the scenes, David Ayler and our ornithology department are working to breed endangered birds. You guys can follow me the whole way? Yeah. All right. We're actually going in the service area of the World of Birds. So this is the access to all the exhibits. And we're now going into the conservation building. All right, so when do we expect another egg from these guys? Based on weight, I'd say this female over here should lay in a few days. And have we seen good behaviors up until this point? Yeah. So the Malios are a very special bird from the island of Sulawesi, which is in Indonesia. They're endangered in the wild, and we have very few of them, but we're making more every year. They have all sorts of vocalizations that, you know, don't even sound like they're from this planet. <laughs> so the males are a little larger, and they're a little more colorful than the females. They're monogamous, at least through the season. And I'm sorry, I, okay. when I'm around birds, I can't not look at them. <laughs> it's so unnatural for me to, like, look at another human. <laughs> I know, it's weird. Even though the Malios that we're raising here will never actually be released into the wild, the information that we are gathering here, that is being applied to work in the field to ensure that Malios will be preserved for future generations. This is the male, and this is the female, and they're a pair. And have we seen copulation? Not with this pair. Any conservation management program that we have here is really a dating service. You know, on paper, these birds are supposed to be a good match. Now, it doesn't always work, just like any other dating service. You have to try it out. So the peanut is the Malio's favorite thing ever. Peanuts are Malio crack. <laughs> and they will do anything for said peanut. Sharing a peanut is, uh, is a step in the right direction for a pair being bonded, and nothing happens unless the pair is bonded. So when the male has a peanut, he'll make that noise, that, that little grunting to get the female's attention so that she can take it from him. Come on, May. He's been trying, but she's not taking it. It's all right, buddy. Give it enough time in the right environment. It'll happen. See? There he goes. It's like, you know, because when, when you understand how much peanuts really mean to them, how much they would do anything for a peanut, it's so irresistible. And when he actually gives it to, you know, his partner for the first time, you know you're gonna have a strong pair. See? Sweetest thing in the world. Now I hope we get a fertile egg. So right now we're taking the girls over to Tiger Mountain. We're going to start with the girls in the indoor enclosure. They'll see the adult tigers. They're going to smell them. They're definitely going to hear them, but they won't interact with them. Like, they won't be in the same area with them. If they're calm, we'll stay there for a while. And if they're nervous, I'm going to bring them back home. OK, girls. You going to walk back, Gracie? Sure. OK, thank you. <laughs> During the evening, the adult tigers come into their bedrooms, and it's very important that we don't put the tiger cubs in with the adult tigers. They get eaten. <laughs> when we bring them here, we just want them, on their own time, to get used to the other tigers and tiger smells and noises. Good girl. 
you can see they are chuffing. <laughs> chuffing is that noise they make. Chuff, chuff, chuff. That's a happy noise, a comfort. Kathleen's really connected to animals. <laughs> She has the ability to bond with animals, and she's truly one of those people who's more comfortable around animals than she is around people. <laughs> they sniffed, they explored, they played, and they did really well. And now we leave them here. We say goodbye and get them three hours later. Bye, girls. I think they're going to transition well and pretty quickly. Me, not so much. <laughs>